Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. It's been a beautiful Monday today. The sun's been shining. It's warm and we're just ready for spring and it looks like it's just busting out all over. So flowers are blooming and um, it's just a beautiful time of year. I would just like to show you yesterday what we had for our Easter Sunday lunch. And you'll recognize a lot of these dishes because they're things that we've had on here in the last few um, postings. And so I'm sure that you probably had some of this on your buffet too. So let's see what we had at Mimi's lunch yesterday. I'm sure when you were looking at that, you saw that beautiful ham and all those slices. And if you will remember, last week I told you if you would save your essence from your ham and whatever leftover ham you had, I would show you how to make a real good southern dish. And this is called ham perlo. Now you can make ham, you can make perlo with several different um, meats, but we look forward to having ham so we can have ham perlo. So this is what we're gonna do. We start out, I have got three cups of rice in here. So that's what we're starting with. And then this is my essence that I saved from my ham yesterday. So this is what we are going to use for our juice to go in our ham perlo. So we go measure this out. And of course, as you know, you use, well, that won't fit in there. Now, when you're cooking anything with rice in it, you cook one cup of rice to two cups of liquid. So we're gonna measure this out. It's congealed, but it's still um, the same amount. So we're gonna get this out of this jar. And I guess really I could just pour it out because we know it's four cups. A quart is four cups. So let's just pour that in our rice. So four. So we need two more cups. So let's get two cups of water. Now. Okay, so we mix this in right here with our rice. And if you've got a little bit of the, um, I guess you call it lard that has formed on the top, just leave that in there because you're gonna need some, um, grease to kind of get it, get it started. All right, now I'm gonna turn this eye on high. And so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna let this start coming to a boil and you know what they say, a watch pot never boils, so it's going to take it a minute. So while we're doing that, I had a request from someone to show how to make iced tea. And you know us Southerners, we love our iced tea. So this is a one gallon container. I have put three tea bags in it, and, the, and you can use any brand. This is, uh, I use decaf, of course, but you can use any brand. Lipton's, I like Louisiana, it's one of the best. And so I've got that in there. I have three of those, and I have a cup and a half of sugar. Now I've got my water boiling over here, and the way that I do it, when the water boils, I will just pour it directly onto that. It dissolves the sugar, and then I just let it steep in there for, oh, I don't know, how long um, it takes before I'm ready to, to make it. It can stay 20 minutes or an hour, it doesn't matter. So um, now in this, I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt. It depends on how salty your ham is. This was a smoked ham, so it's probably got a good bit of salt in it. So I'm putting just a tad in here just to be sure that we have our flavor um, in our, our rice. So this is gonna come to a boil here in a minute. 
And when it does, we're going to add the ham in there. And then you just let it just kind of cook down. Okay, my water is ready now for my tea. So I'm gonna pour that in there. Y'all, it's just nothing like good old sweet, sweet tea. We love it. Of course, we got a lot of hours now that have started drinking water, but mo mostly it's to save calories as much as anything. All right, so I'm just going to sit that aside and just let it just steep there a while. So we'll be back in a minute just as soon as this um, starts boiling. Okay. Our water now is becoming is coming to a boil, and so what we do is we just let this boil here for a minute, and then I've cut up my ham over there that was left over on the ham bone, and so we'll go put that, and I will save this now because that will go in vegetable soup. So we just go put this right here in our rice mixture yeah. this is the best part about a ham is having it fixed like this we like it sliced but i'll tell you we love it like this all right so this is coming to a boil and so we're gonna let it Boil there for just, I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit, because I'm going to tell you, you might as well get ready, because this thing's going to stick regardless of how much you stir it, but that's okay. Um, you can always clean your pot. So as you can see, see we have lots of ham in there, so this is going to cook up with this rice, and then we go have some peas with it, and some fried squash, and some homemade biscuits, so... That sounds like a pretty good meal, doesn't it? So we're going to let this cook. It'll cook like this for about 10 minutes, and then I will turn it all the way down to simmer. And then when we turn it on simmer, I'll put the top on it and just let it cook on until the rice gets fully done. And, and that really doesn't take that long. So we will be back in just a little while. Okay, we've been going about 30 minutes and it gave time for everything to get finished. Our, um, I made a quick little sweet potato souffle and I'll show you how to make this sometime. You make it out of frozen sweet potato patties. These are our Le Jour peas and then this is the ham perlo. I know your mouth is watering. And then over here we are, I'm frying a little bit of squash and the biscuits are in the oven. They'll be ready in about five minutes, just about the same time. And I won't tell you how I do this squash. All I do is I take my squash and I cut them in little cubes. And then I put about three tablespoons of buttermilk on them. Not a lot, because you don't want to saturate them. Just enough to get them all moist. And then I just put the flour right in on top of them very much like I did the um, chicken strips, except these, um, you know, are the, are the vegetables. And so they are cooking right here. You can see them. They'll be ready in just a little while. I've got that um, eye down. I don't want to cook them too high because they will burn. And uh, it really doesn't take long to cook squash because it's a very tender vegetable and it cooks very quickly. I did want to tell you on the ham perlo, if you do not bake a ham and you do not have ham essence, you can use beef broth or beef consomme, either one is made by Campbell's. And so it's a quick and easy way to make a nice supper that will be good for the whole family and um, everybody can enjoy it. And so it's a Monday night and we're getting ready to eat, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and we'll see you next Monday. And everybody, shine for Jesus.